Hello and welcome to this week's Building Endeavour video. So in this week we're going to continue work on the bowsprit. Um, last video I managed to get to this stage. Uh, now we have to put on some of these uh, cleats here. Uh, they have to be painted to match uh, sort of a, a pale AS wood colour. So I'm going to mix something up using these acrylic paints. Paint as many of these as I can and then using the chart here I'll position them uh, in the right place. There's also some um, uh, rigging blocks have to be put on the end and around here. Then the yards have to go on and if all goes to plan I'll be able to fit the um, boats bit permanently to the front of the ship. So let's get on with that and see how far I can get. All right, so when this magazine was originally published about 10 years ago, of course, you got a, a piece of the magazine, a piece of the ship each week. And I've been fortunate that I've got the whole uh, collection, uh, of course, donated to me by my friend Pete Woodhead. I hope he's still watching. Uh, and I've collected all of these cleats into one place, into one bag, and here they all are. So when I make the uh, colour, because they all have to be about the same, so I'm going to see if I can get the right kind of colour using these paints here. But yeah, let's mix it up and see if we can get the right kind of tone of paint. Okay, um, I'm fairly happy with that. It's kind of close to this wood colour here. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go with that. Right, so I have to paint all these then. Here we go, it's going to take me a while. Okay, I've done quite a lot for now. <clears throat> there are a few left over, I need to make some more paints. I'll do that a little other time though. But uh, these will do for now. Uh, now I need to make some so-called gammoning cleats that have to go on the bowsprit here. They're wedge-shaped two by twos that have to be uh, drilled as well. So let's get on with that now. All right, so I've got to make seven of these gammoning cleats. Each one six millimetre long. One. Let's just get that flat as well. Okay, I'll continue the rest. Oh, time out. Okay, I've cut seven, almost all exactly uh, six millimetre. Now I'm going to have to um, put two holes. I'm using a 0.9 mil drill. Two holes here and then here. I'll do that the same with all of them. So let's just do these first two. First. I've already had a, a go and it came out like that. I think that's exactly the look I want. So here we go. I'll just try this one first. See that, and then number two here. Let's try. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. So I have to do that with all of them. Let's do that. Okay, there they are, all done, seven gammony cleats. Well, not quite. I have to now sand them into a wedge shape. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, seven gammony cleats completed and one extra one as a spare. Now to put them onto the bowsprit itself. So using the plan, I can see that they go here at this point and yeah, they come back in a kind of an angle, so I know that all the central one has to be in line with this from the top, like so. Um, and I'm going to use 
just white glue for this part because for UCA glue and it grabs too quickly and I need to adjust obviously it's too late right so we'll get on with that Okay, time to put on the eight metal belaying cleats. I'm going to use CA glue for this operation. Okay, next, to fit these eye bolts, they have to be drilled and glued, these dead eyes and these uh, blocks as well, using the 0.5 thread and the 0.15 thread for the blocks. Let's get on with that. Okay, now to start the rigging tackle on the end of the jig boom. Okay, so now I need to make another seven of those. There we go. So I'm just going to mark where the uh, ties are going to go. Just a little scratch here. That'll get covered up by the, the rope. Okay, happy with that, let's get on. Okay, I've just gone ahead and put those uh, blocks and bits of rigging on the post bit for now. Um, it would have been a bit of a boring video. Anyway, the next thing to do is to start with the yards. So, using the plan, I will cut out the right length and then shape each yard to taper. Let's get on with that. So there's the first yard tapered at both ends and I have to do exactly the same with a 6mm diameter. So we'll get on with that. Alright, 
So that's the two roast brick yards. I have to stain them now. All right, so the yards have stained up really nicely. Now I have to put these rigging blocks, uh, tie them up. I've already pre-cut some of the threads uh, onto the uh, yards, uh, and including a, a sort of a sling that has to be made using these uh, beads. Um, I can't remember what these are called, but these separating metal slats here. You'll see that in the video. All right, so let's get on with that. So please remember if you do like these videos, do like and subscribe. A little bit better because I've got a bit more length on that right there. Yeah, okay, happy with that. Okay, that's all the rigging blocks done now to start putting them on the yards. Okay, now I have to make a, a, a what's called a yard sling on top of the spirit sail yard. That's the thing furthest out from the ship. And uh, the name I was looking for before was these things called parallel ribs and um, rigging trucks, which are these little beads here. I have to throw them onto here uh, and then install it onto that spirit that, uh, spirit sail top yard. Let's do that now. Okay, now time to assemble the bowsprit once and for all. And then that will be the end of this video. All right, so that's it for this week's video. Rather longer than expected. Did take quite a while to get that sorted out. Um, and anyway, it's done. In the next video, I'll fit it to the ship and finish off some more deck details as well. Um, so remember, if you do enjoy these videos, please do leave a, a like and consider subscribing. It's free after all. And uh, yeah, and any comments you've got, I'd like to read those as well. So until next week's video, bye for now.